Hi everybody, here we are again, and it's time to review a Woodford's Tinsel Toes. It is quite nice, but a little pointy. There's the label. It's a Woodford's kit. I don't know if you can see that. If you see in focus, I might have to bring it out a bit. I was expecting a sort of dark, Christmassy beer. The bump is Seasonal Roast Malt Fusion. A smooth, I've had a few, a smooth fusion of roast malts with rich fruit characteristics. Alcohol about 4.4%, which it's turned out, probably turned out about 4.5%. I could post the specific gravities in, but that's what it looks like. Now, I've been meaning to post this for a while and unfortunately I've had a little bit of a barrel incident where the top takeoff was forced too high due to the, um, the pipe work. So I've had to rejig it and it's turned it a little bit cloudy because I've stirred some of the sediment in the bottom. Still very nice, still a little disappointing because as I say I was expecting a fairly dark beer with nice sort of blackberry, dark berry, fruity flavours and this isn't. It was crystal clear. Can't, you can only blame me on the fact that there's airs and my barrel cocked up. But that is more like a Bureau Gold repackaged for Christmas and charge you a little bit more. I mean, don't get me wrong, the Woodford's Bureau Gold, very nice beer. It comes with a little packet of hops to dry hop it with, same as this one. But this isn't Christmassy. It has no Christmas spices in it or anything like that. It's just, basically it's Bureau Gold. In my palette. <coughs> Seasonal roast malt fusion. I wouldn't have said so. Rich fruit characteristics. Nah, not really. This fruit is like a citrusy, orangey flavour. But it's not what I would call a Christmas beer. Nice beer. Just a bit disappointing that they've repackaged Bureau Gold, just to hack it for Christmas. Right. Cheers. I've not been on recently for a few reasons. We're having the kitchen redone. And we've got a new addition. So I'll just squeeze you around and show you who we've got. 
This is the latest addition to the family. She's a puppy farm survivor. And when we got her two weeks ago, just over two weeks ago, she wouldn't even come out from under the table. She was terrified of everything. And it was just heartbreaking to see how She's, all, she's probably about four years old and how a four year old dog could have been mistreated so badly that she was just absolutely terrified of everything. Right. We're also having the kitchen completely gutted, a wall knocked out, another wall put in to partition off the other room so the house is in complete upheaval so I've not had time to shoot any videos at all or even think about uploading them so I'm, I apologize for that but hopefully by this time next week everything should return to normal apart from new little girl that we've got. Right, so like, comment, subscribe and see you next time. Cheers. Bye.